Welcome to our Stock Market Briefing show, where we dive into the whirlwind world of finance and economics with a touch of lighthearted banter. Picture this, inflation rates in the US are doing the cha-cha, much to President Biden's dismay, and Donald Trump is having a field day on Truth Social, claiming inflation is back with a vengeance. It's like a financial soap opera, with the November elections adding a spicy twist to the plot. Meanwhile, the Federal Reserve is caught in a love triangle, trying to decide whether to stick with its current interest rates or make a move, all under the watchful eyes of a politically charged atmosphere. Globally, the currency markets are putting on quite the show. Imagine the yen plummeting to a 34-year low against the dollar, it's like watching a dramatic fall in slow motion, with Japan's bank of governor assuring us they're not going to meddle, too much. But let's not forget the plot twist where Bloomberg reveals that the line between insider trading and informed decision-making has become as blurry as my vision after a long night. And in a world where environmental sustainability becomes a hot commodity, we're looking at investments ranging from solar power to employing sheep as eco-friendly lawnmowers. Talk about innovative finance. But wait, there's more. The Federal Reserve's internal debates are like watching a reality TV show where some members are optimistic about inflation slowing down, while others are preparing for a longer battle. It's a game of financial strategy, with high stakes involving the US dollar's dominance and potential sanctions against Chinese banks. And as the Fed contemplates easing up on reducing its asset holdings, it's like they're trying to walk a tightrope in high winds. So, grab your popcorn and stay tuned as we navigate through these tumultuous financial waters together. Please continue watching for more detailed content. In the bustling world of politics and finance, the winds of change are blowing, and they're carrying with them a storm of developments that have everyone from presidents to private companies on their toes. The Sydney Morning Herald recently reported a surge in US inflation rates, a development that's causing sleepless nights for President Joe Biden. With inflation rates refusing to fall and indications that they might actually be increasing, the cost of living pressures are becoming a formidable challenge for the current administration. This economic turmoil has provided a golden opportunity for Donald Trump, who wasted no time in taking to his social media platform, Truth Social, to declare that, inflation is back, and raging. Trump's critique comes at a crucial time, as the Republicans aim to leverage these economic pressures to question the Biden administration's prowess in economic management. As the November election looms closer, the political implications of inflation and interest rates are set to become even more pronounced, complicating the Federal Reserve's decision-making process. Across the globe, the financial markets are reacting in real time to these economic fluctuations. Yahoo US highlighted a significant movement in the currency markets, where the yen has plummeted to a 34-year low against the US dollar, reaching 153.24 per dollar. This dramatic slide has reignited fears of currency intervention by Japanese authorities, despite Bank of Japan Governor Kazuo Ueda's assurance that monetary policy would not directly respond to currency movements. This development underscores the global nature of the economic challenges at hand, with every shift in policy and market sentiment sending ripples across the world. On the topic of market dynamics, Bloomberg brought to light the evolving nature of material non-public information in today's competitive markets. The once clear line between insider trading and informed decision-making has now blurred, leaving investors and corporate managers in a murky territory. While investors seek insights from corporate managers to make informed decisions, the challenge lies in sharing useful information without crossing into the realm of disclosing material non-public information. This evolving landscape has regulators and judges casting a skeptical eye on the traditional definitions that once governed the markets. Moreover, the flexibility afforded to private companies in reporting financial information is becoming increasingly apparent. Unlike their public counterparts, which must adhere to U.S. generally accepted accounting principles, GAAP, private companies enjoy the liberty to report results according to accounting principles that suit them and their sophisticated investors. This freedom allows them to present customized profitability metrics, often making them appear profitable before they are GAAP profitable. This practice sheds light on the broader trend of the blurring lines within financial reporting and market regulations. Adding another layer to the complexity of modern finance is the emergence of environmental sustainability as a financial product. Hedge funds and banks are now in the business of creating and selling units of environmental sustainability, ranging from investments in solar power to innovative solutions like hiring sheep to mow lawns. This development is a testament to the creative ways in which financial markets are adapting to the growing demand for sustainable investment options, further blurring the boundaries of traditional finance. As we navigate through these tumultuous times, it's clear that the worlds of politics, finance, and sustainability are more intertwined than ever. From the corridors of power in Washington, D.C., 
to the bustling financial markets of Tokyo, the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead demand a re-evaluation of traditional norms and a willingness to adapt to the evolving landscape. Whether it's tackling inflation, navigating the complexities of market information, or innovating in the realm of sustainable finance, the journey ahead promises to be anything but straightforward. In a world where the ebb and flow of currencies and economies paint a vivid picture of global interconnectedness, recent developments have cast a spotlight on the intricate dance between nations and their financial strategies. From the streets of Tokyo to the corridors of power in the European Union, and onto the bustling trading floors of the United States, a series of events have unfolded, each weaving into the fabric of the global economic narrative. Nikkei Asia reports a dramatic shift in the currency markets, where the yen has taken a tumble, reaching levels against the dollar not seen since the early 90s. This descent to 153 yen per dollar comes in the wake of strong U.S. inflation data, stirring the pot of financial markets worldwide. The Bank of Japan, in a bid to stem the tide, has signaled its intention to purchase large amounts of Japanese government bonds. Despite a recent interest rate hike by the BOJ, the yen's decline seems unrelenting, driven by the robust U.S. economy and the widening yield gap between Japan and the U.S. The Japanese government, in response, has voiced its readiness to take necessary measures to arrest the yen's fall, highlighting the delicate balance central banks must maintain in their monetary policies. Across the seas in Europe, tensions simmer as China protests the European Union's investigation into subsidies in green industries, labeling the move as protectionist. The Associated Press sheds light on this brewing conflict, noting that the EU's scrutiny of Chinese wind turbine makers for potentially unfair subsidies has ruffled feathers. This investigation, focusing on the competitive edge these subsidies might afford Chinese companies in several European countries, marks a significant moment in the ongoing dialogue about fair trade and environmental technology. China's sharp criticism of the EU's actions as a reckless distortion underscores the complexities of international trade relations, especially in sectors critical to the global push for sustainable energy. Each of these stories, from the yen struggle against the dollar to the EU-China subsidy spat, and the tremors in the US stock market, illustrates the intricate web of global finance and trade. Nations and economies, in their pursuit of growth and stability, find themselves at the mercy of market forces, policy decisions, and the ever-present specter of inflation. As central banks, governments, and international bodies grapple with these challenges, the world watches, waiting to see how this complex dance of currencies, stocks, and subsidies will unfold in the chapters to come. In the swirling world of financial markets and economic forecasts, the question on everyone's lips is, when will Americans see those much-anticipated interest rate cuts? The answer, it seems, is shrouded in uncertainty as inflation in the U.S. proves to be a tougher beast to tame than expected. According to The Economist, the Federal Reserve is currently wrestling with a dilemma that feels like a scene straight out of an economic thriller. Inflation for March came in hotter than a summer barbecue, marking the third consecutive month of readings that didn't just exceed forecasts, they practically leaped over them. This stubborn persistence of inflation could mean it remains above the Fed's cozy target of 2% year-on-year. Consequently, the market's dreams of interest rate cuts have been put on a diet, slimming down to expectations of just one or two cuts this year. And with the presidential election looming in November, the timing couldn't be more fraught. The Fed might hold off on rate cuts until after the election, a move that could spell trouble for Joe Biden's campaign. The collective sentiment across these reports paints a picture of a financial landscape fraught with uncertainty. Investors, traders, and economists alike are navigating a maze of inflation data and Federal Reserve policy moves, trying to forecast when relief in the form of interest rate cuts might arrive. As the U.S. economy continues its high-stakes balancing act between growth and inflation, 
the world watches and waits, hoping for a soft landing that will stabilize markets and pave the way for future prosperity. In a world where the ebb and flow of currencies can dictate the fate of nations, Japan stands at a critical juncture. The Japan Times recently illuminated the country's precarious position as its top currency official declared a readiness to explore all avenues, including the drastic measure of currency intervention, in response to the yen's alarming slide to its lowest level against the dollar since the nostalgic days of 1990. This bold statement came on the heels of a U.S. price gauge revealing a faster-than-expected inflation rate in March, a revelation that has led to a recalibration of expectations regarding Federal Reserve rate cuts within the year. The yen's descent is not just a number on a screen, it's a harbinger of potential economic turmoil, prompting Japan's forex chiefs to consider pulling the emergency brake in a bid to stabilize the ship. Across the sea, China's ambitious gaze is fixed on the Middle East, a region teeming with potential yet fraught with complexities. As reported by the South China Morning Post, the Middle East is undergoing a transformative shift, with investors pouring billions into technology and infrastructure to wean off the oil dependency that has long defined the region. China, with its insatiable appetite for growth and influence, sees a golden opportunity amidst the sands of the Arab world. Last year alone, Gulf sovereign wealth funds injected over $2.3 billion into Greater China, a staggering leap from the mere $100 million in 2022. This burgeoning relationship, underscored by a surge in mergers and acquisitions, signifies a mutual recognition of the economic prowess each side brings to the table. However, as China deepens its ties with the Gulf Cooperation Council, the journey ahead is likened to navigating a terrain that is as much a gold mine as it is a minefield, given the geopolitical sensitivities and economic uncertainties that pervade the region. Meanwhile, in the Southern Hemisphere, Peru has found itself entangled in a visa tug of war with Mexico, as reported by Bloomberg. The saga began when Mexico, wary of Peruvians using its territory as a springboard to the U.S., decided to enforce visa requirements on Peruvian tourists. In a tit-for-tat response, Peru imposed a similar requirement on Mexican nationals, only to backtrack under the weight of tourism industry pressure. This diplomatic dance highlights the intricate balance countries must strike between securing their borders and fostering tourism, a vital artery for many economies. By revoking the visa requirement for Mexicans, Peru aims to mend fences and keep the tourism dollars flowing, even as it braces for the impact of Mexico's visa imposition on its own citizens. These narratives, spanning from the financial desks of Japan to the shifting sands of the Middle East, and down to the Andean peaks of Peru, paint a vivid picture of a world in flux. Economies are grappling with internal pressures and external forces, each maneuvering through their unique challenges while striving to secure a prosperous future. Whether it's through the lens of currency intervention, strategic partnerships, or visa policies, the global stage is set for a fascinating display of diplomacy, strategy, and resilience. In the intricate dance of the global economy, the Federal Reserve's movements often dictate the rhythm. According to CNN, minutes from a March meeting have revealed a cautious optimism among Federal Reserve officials, suggesting that inflation, the persistent thorn in the economy's side, is expected to slow down as the year progresses. However, not all officials are singing the same tune, with some voicing concerns that inflation could prove to be more stubborn than anticipated. This discord among Fed officials has sent ripples of concern through Wall Street, where fears of enduring high inflation loom large. The prospect of prolonged high interest rates, a direct consequence if inflation fails to ease, adds a layer of uncertainty to the economic outlook. Meanwhile, the United States is engaging in a high-stakes financial chess game on the international stage. The Economist reports a bold move by U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, who has issued a stark warning to Chinese banks. Yellen's message is clear, any assistance in transferring military goods to Russia could result in severe U.S. sanctions. This threat is part of the broader U.S. financial offensive against Russia, which has seen the imposition of sanctions on nearly 3,600 Russian targets since 2022. Despite these efforts, Russia's defense industry remains resilient, buoyed by the reluctance of other countries and financial hubs to join the U.S.-led sanctions campaign. The crux of the U.S.'s power in this financial war lies in the dominance of the dollar, which grants it the extraterritorial authority to penalize foreign banks and cut them off from the global financial system. Back on the domestic front, Bloomberg sheds light on another aspect of the Federal Reserve's strategy to navigate the economic turbulence. The Fed is considering a significant shift in its approach to managing its massive asset portfolio. According to minutes from the same March meeting, there's a consensus among policymakers to have the pace at which the central bank is reducing its asset holdings. This move signals a cautious step towards easing monetary policy, with almost all officials agreeing that it would be prudent to lower borrowing costs within the year. 
However, this plan has been thrown into uncertainty by recent inflation data, which has disrupted expectations for three interest rate cuts in the year. Policymakers acknowledge the uneven path of disinflation, indicating a journey filled with potential surprises and adjustments. The Federal Reserve's actions and deliberations, as captured in these reports, highlight the delicate balance it seeks to maintain. On one hand, it aims to temper inflation without stifling economic growth, and on the other, it navigates the complexities of international finance amid geopolitical tensions. The Fed's cautious optimism, coupled with its readiness to adjust its strategies, underscores the unpredictable nature of the economic landscape. As the world watches, the Federal Reserve's decisions will undoubtedly play a pivotal role in shaping the economic future, both domestically and internationally. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.